Okay, so now you know how to achieve a brighter, wider smile, and here <coughs> is how to have a healthier, happier heart. Nutritional researcher and author Dr. Johnny Bodwin wants people to know that it is possible to lower your bad cholesterol through the help of food opposed to prescription pills. A uh, very important topic here. And, and Johnny, I know that this is a time of year where people's cholesterol levels tend to be elevated. Why would that be? Well, it's very interesting about cholesterol. It goes up and down for all kinds of reasons, including, by the way, stress. Oh, really? Stress can raise your cholesterol. My co-author on the book, The Great Cholesterol Myth, is a cardiologist. And one day he discovered this by he was about to go into surgery and hadn't eaten all day. Yeah. And just for fun, he decided about 5 o'clock at night to take his blood test. And his cholesterol was on the, on the sky. He hadn't even no eaten. No way. So actually, stress, all kinds of things, the way we eat holiday season, okay. the stress of holiday, can all raise it. But here's what I want people to know. It's not just about lowering cholesterol with a pill. It's about lowering the risk for heart disease. Yes. We don't really care about cholesterol. What mm -hmm. we care about is, is that a marker for are we going to live longer? Okay. These foods and exercise and, and staying away from the bad stuff, which I'll tell you about in a minute, that is what's going to really improve our heart. It will lower our cholesterol, but it will also lower triglycerides, which is a very important component of blood that we want to keep down. Yes. So we do it with these foods. And these labels, these heart-healthy labels, can often be very misleading because... Okay. So explain, because I think a lot of people shop and they go, okay, I have high cholesterol. I've been told I also need to address my diet. This says it's heart healthy. Look, it's got the heart on it. Yes. And it says low cholesterol. Why they, would that they be They license misleading? those for $3,000 a year, by the way. They make oh, over $900,000. It's always about money. But the point is that they, they, they give those labels because it has okay. fiber. But it comes at a great cost because there's a lot of sugar in there with the fiber. So got you it. want fiber from things like these foods right here. Beans and apples and peppers so and avocados. Fiber, not yes, necessarily because they don't have any sugar okay. added the way these foods do. Okay. And even these low-sodium foods that are heart-healthy, they've got a lot of ingredients that we don't want. So what we want to do uh -huh. is, number one, concentrate okay. on getting fiber. I'm a big, here's a hack. When people think about fiber supplements, they think about gas and bloating. Yeah, absolutely. This one doesn't give you that. Sun fiber, it's an ingredient. You just look on the ingredients for what kind of fiber they use and look for sun fiber. It's like, here's a, a great pre fiber. Sun fiber. It, there what it is. What is sun fiber? It's actually a fiber supplement, and it's odorless and tasteless, and you do not get gas and bloating. So none of that lousy taste of that tastes like mm -hmm. sawdust, none of that. You can put it on your kid's oatmeal. You can and they put won't it on notice. their. They'll uh -huh. never notice, and you get an extra 10 Two spoons a day, 10 grams extra fiber, done. Great. Okay. Take the right supplements for heart disease. This is very, very important. I always, my stack, my basic stuff, mm -hmm. fish oil, magnesium, vitamin D, and I found this at Costco. I got it to, uh, shout out to Costco. Sometimes they just find an elegant formula and they stick it there and they've mm -hmm. got it. And this is a, uh, it's called artery health and it's a form of vitamin K2, which uh -huh. keeps calcium out of your arteries so you don't get hardening of the arteries. Oh. And then we want to look at these superfoods and all of these things are superfoods, blueberries, carrots, spinach, Chia seeds, this is the new hot thing. We're going to have a natural products expo in March, the biggest show. I'm expecting chia seeds to be and bombing. And what makes chia seeds so Two healthy. things, fiber yeah. and omega-3s. Okay. So you've got omega-3s, which we want anyway from fish oil mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but we also get the fiber. You can sprinkle these on anything. You don't have to grind them. They come right out of the out of the bag like that. that okay. Uh, you can get this on Amazon everywhere. So chia seeds are a superfood. Add some fiber. Take a walk every day, and number one for heart disease, don't smoke. That's probably more important than yeah, anything. Hold that including back up. Don't do not smoke. do this, don't ladies smoke. and gentlemen. The number one thing that causes heart disease, mm -hmm. and a lot of other things as well. Okay. So you do it with food, you do it with exercise, you do it with extra fiber. So for those, though, I mean, there's a lot of people that take pills to control their cholesterol, but you're saying that that might just be like a little bit of a crutch, that you really need to do this lifestyle change. You need to eat healthy and think more than just your cholesterol, but just overall your heart health. Absolutely. And I think a lot of doctors write those prescriptions because they know people won't do these things. Yes. But if you would tell your doctor, you're going to try this for 30 days and then go back and get a measurement, you might find the results are very, very different. All right. It's, it's worth it's worth it's that worth change. A try. And that effort. Where can people go for more information? JohnnyBowden.com. JohnnyBowden.com. Johnny, thank you so much. So much. All right, everyone, make sure you stick around because it's time for an ABC 10 News update right after the break. I love pecans. Mm -hmm. love this interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.